I think it makes perfect sense because I played on grass. My face was planted in grass, so I had to learn about the landscape architecture elements of football so I can be successful. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, uh, I took landscape architectural design in, at Ohio State when I was a student there. Uh, started my sophomore year, I went through three arduous years to get that degree it was very difficult but I made it through somehow with the help of my teachers and just being persistent and the reason I got into landscape architecture was originally I was really into architecture I really wanted to become an architect but uh, f there was no flexibility in my schedule between practice and going to studio I couldn't get it done I was got a scholarship to play football so the next thing that, um, the next major that they said they, they offered some flexibility within the same arena as architecture was landscape architecture. So I took a, an AutoCAD class, uh, created this incredible project on the computer um, of, this, uh, of this garden with pillars and um, uh, all these trees. It was, just, it was just well done and I just fell in love with it and I got an A on it. So I said, you know what, maybe I can make a career out of this and uh, start my own architecture firm and then got my degree and did that. Each week on this show, we're gonna have two homes to renovate and every single week somebody's gonna be sent home. And every week that goes by, the stakes get bigger, the homes get bigger, the styles changes, the criteria changes. And before you know it, we're gonna be down to two people, you know, you know renovating a home by themselves how are they going to get that done? So it's going to be an interesting, interesting time on this show. My role is to, to talk about the landscape architectural elements within uh, renovating these homes um, and to uh, give my style, to add my style, my flair, my knowledge based off of um, my interior design background. You know, I had to design my own home at one point in time. So I have a little bit of that going on as well, but I'm here to, to bring my expertise in the landscape architectural area. You know, a unique, uh, fun-loving, um, hard-working uh, control freaks <laughs> because they're all professionals. They're all the best of the best at what they do. And, um, they're all bosses. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be a very honest, uh, very forthright, and, and um, um, I'm going to add some fun element to it. But I want to be, you know, bring constructive criticism and just be who I am. That's that's all I know how to, how to be is to be Eddie George, and uh, to be honest in, this, in that and to stand in my truth, and um, and that's it. Nate, <laughs> I mean, he's going to dig into uh, the, all the details. I mean, Nate is very particular. I, what's amazing about Nate is that he walks into a room and knows immediately what works and what doesn't work. I mean, this is profession. I mean, it's like me going in, onto a football field and knowing who's a player and who's not a player. So he understands that world to the umpteenth degree. And Monica, golly, she's so kind and nice and sweet. But, you know, behind all that, 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 that pretty exterior, she is a bulldog, man. <laughs> she was like, she, I mean, she's like, oh, the design sucks. I would never do that in here. What is he, what are you thinking about? What do you, you know, what's your thought process? So they're, they're tough. They're the tough ones. I'm thinking I could be the good cop on the side. Those two, woo. Man, I would hate for them to walk through my house. <laughs> the biggest challenges for these contestants is um, stretching themselves outside their box, not relying on their same methods to new, to new problems. I think is really being open to uh, being creative and stepping outside the box and jumping outside of your comfort zone of what you know. And that's what we're finding because you got people from different backgrounds that have different styles, different tastes, 
and they all had to funnel that energy into one project and find their roles and really be effective in that role that they may necessarily not uh, have been in in quite some time because they're all bosses. They all delegate a lot of these things off to other people within their businesses. So to take that on as being a, a worker, it's going to be interesting to see how that, that whole dynamic unfolds. Listen, you know what? You set somebody up like this to undercut them. <laughs> you know, you praise them and then you undercut them. So you'll see a lot of that happening. A lot of people playing a game within the game to see, okay, if we do lose this project, who's going to be the first to go? Because you don't necessarily want to have the strongest one around because they may end up in the they may end up uh, winning in the end. So you might want to cut off the strongest person. So how do you play that game? So it's truly survivor <laughs> within this whole element. <laughs>